Hello chess friends and welcome to the Zard of Chess channel and welcome to another stunner by the strongest chess engine in the world. Welcome to an amazing gameplay by Stockfish 16.1 against another top engine Kaisa in the crazy Slav defense. And this 16.4 ver version of Stockfish is of course a new version but it's basically an upgraded version of Stockfish. It doesn't even matter how we call uh, the latest version of Stockfish because with every single day Stockfish gets improvements. Stockfish is of course trying to do uh, novelties. It's trying to do improvements on, on, on openings of silence of opening so that's why as i said it doesn't even matter in the next couple of months we will probably see st stockfish 17 stockfish 18 but now this latest version of 16 uh, stockfish 16.1 is simply the strongest chess engine in the world and we're following now an amazing really spectacular gameplay by the fish against the slav defense if you're bothered by the slav defense i think you can use this game as your cornerstone because it's so epic it's so crazy how the fish is finding new ideas new opportunities in any of this opening so let's see now what happened here with the white pieces the fish open with move d4 d5 by kaisa c4 c6 the slav knight to c3 knight to f6 and now after move e3 we have uh, now this quiet variation well, the three knights variation if you play for instance it, it could lead into um here after move a4 uh, bishop to f5 could lead now into the check variation of the slav defense so that's why stockfish says e3 is perfectly fine if you play d takes c4 i can always pick up the pawn with my bishop we have a6 kaisa is trying here also to play the move b5 to break in here on the queen side stockfish continues with bishop to d3 and now bishop to g4 a very very often played sideline i would say uh, because black is trying to keep uh, the light school bishop outside of the pawn chain once now to play of course something like e6 and then have a nice grip on light squares but if you play of course without uh the, the bishop out then the bishop could be always stuck by its own pawn would be simply neutralized by its own pawn structure so that's why bishop to g4 also a solid line queen to b3 by the fish hitting the pawn we have now b5 c takes d5 and after c takes d5 i think black has solved now many positional problems on the queen side the pawn structure is symmetrical uh, not really a dynamic position i would say in the beginning with good opportunities now for both sides stockfish continues with knight from g to e2 knight to c6 normal development and now knight to f4 simply hitting now uh, the d5 weakness we have now knight to a5 uh, by kaisa beautiful counterattack queen to uh, c2 and now rook to c8 with the preparation to play now the move b4 stockfish plays f3 <coughs> and basically there are two choices you can escape to d7 or you could maybe try b4 b4 seems tempting but actually it would be a mistake because after f takes g4 b takes c3 you get your piece back but now this pawn is hanging and even if you try something like i don't know uh, c takes b2 then after i don't know queen to um, queen to b2 uh, the rook has to escape you play bishop to b5 the rook is trapped or if you play something like i don't know uh, rook to uh, rook to a8 then again bishop to b5 very dangerous to handle this pawn uh cannot be taken because you have to cover with your knight then this one is lost again i, th I think a messed up position here for black so that's why for f3 bishop to d7 queen to f2 connecting now the pawn uh connecting now the queen to the pawn on d4 with this move stockfish is pre preparing of course the e4 breakthrough we have e6 we have now kingside casting b4 by kaisa and now knight to e2 queen to b6 e4 by stockfish anyway this pawn is as i said very well very well protected now stockfish is of course threatening also to play the move e5 if you take here um then of course after something like um f takes e4 white has this powerful central control with this pawns will eventually i think break and enter in some lines so very very messy then position again to handle here for for black if you try here e5 immediately to somehow compete in the center of the board it's not so good because uh, this move would actually break a certain rule in chess that says that you should not open the center with your king in the center and of course the uh, stockfish will punish that look at this we simply take takes you can maybe take out this one we can actually uh, play knight to d4 because even if you try to build this queen and bishop battery on dark squares white delivers a check you have to now step back with the king and with bishop to e3 all of the positional problems of whites are solved white is continuing the game with an extra pawn black's king is not on a good square so uh, much much better position here for stockfish so that's why for e4 uh, kaisa continued with bishop to b5 uh, here kaisa wants to get rid of its bad bishop because as we mentioned in the beginning uh, stockfish 
um, somehow locked the light school bishop of black. So the light school bishop is not good, of course, here. So that's why uh, Kaisa is trying, of course, to trade off a bad piece for a good piece uh, here of white. Good choice, I think, here also by black. Stockfish continues with b b3. Uh, of course, controls the c4 square. It's a useful square that, of course black could use in the further attack we have bishop to e7 e5 uh here we have an attack against the knight knight to d7 and now bishop to e3 here stockfish has i think really really good development kingside casting h4 because uh, stockfish has an advanced pawn on this side of the board that's of course the area that we're trying to attack so that's why uh h4 makes really sense we're trying h5 h6 to somehow uh disconnect the pawns in front of the king to create of course some structural weaknesses and we have to say that after move e5 black has not so many defenders in front of the king because the knight is now d7 it's not on a natural square where it's of course also protecting the h7 weakness so h4 really really a nice progressive plan by the fish knight to c6 rook from a to d1 we have now a5 counter attack here but also by kaisa on the queen side and now h5 stockfish continues now with all with his own plan we have now knight to a7 rook to d2 rook bishop takes d3 knight takes d3 and now kaisa found a good way how to include the knight into the game there is now huge huge hole in white's position this weak square on c3 but stockfish continues with queen to g3 continues simply the plan uh here in order to attack the king on the king side we have knight to c3 we have now knight to f4 we have now h6 of course very important move uh not allow here y to play the move h6 then you have to play something like g6 and then you would have several dashboard problems in front of the king so here that's why h6 stops uh white's progressive plans on the king side we have now knight to h3 king to h7 getting out of this g file mess that stock was created by placing the queen on g3 we have now queen to f2 uh queen to a6 and now kaisa is actually trying a uh, very unpleasant tactics uh, kaisa is trying knight takes a2 and then if you take rook takes a2 then to play queen to d3 so stockfish says okay maybe you have your plan there but i will continue with my own plan g4 very very nice attacking move here by the fish if you try now knight takes a2 then actually after rook to a1 you have again a couple of problems you have to retreat then we play g5 and i think uh white is already there white is down a pawn but i think with this move uh stockfish is breaking here um black's defense and i think from this point on it, the game would be simply a one-way ticket in a white's favor so that's why from move g4 kaisa controls the potential g5 move by stockfish by playing the move f6 Stockfish continues now with queen to g2. Again, what should you do? If you try, for instance, f takes e5, this wasn't playing the game, but um, again, black is getting destroyed with this move g5. You can maybe try, I don't know, h takes g5, then we play bishop to g5, bishop takes g5, queen to g5, you're trying to escape h6, look at this rook to f7, and then we play d takes uh, e5, you try maybe a check, we get even the king here. This line is pretty much forced, there's not a bit better continuation here for black. Knight to d4, then we play h7, look at this, uh, king to h8, knight to f4, knight to g6, so very very massive position here from move g5 you don't have to maybe play h takes g5 you can maybe try e takes d4 but actually white can then continue with g takes h6 and i think black is getting destroyed uh here on the g file if you try to compete with rook to g8 then queen to g6 is going to happen so again a messed up position uh here for black so that's why after queen to g2 rook to f7 kaisa is saying okay i still have maybe my tactic with knight takes a2 then queen to d3 but first of all i will try to defend my seventh rank stockfish continues with rook to e1 uh, targets of course also in some lines maybe the e6 weakness now stockfish is saying if the position clears on the e file there could be maybe another attacking chance here for white knight takes a2 of course by kaisa but stockfish says okay you have a pawn here but again i'm on the attacking side on this side of the board. stockfish continues with e takes f6 g takes f6 and now knight to f4 this is now the weakness as i said look at this stockfish is indirectly targeting so far uh the e6 weakness with the rook but also now the weak square on g6 really really nice attacking idea here by the fish again kaisa retreats knight to c3 we have knight to g6, bishop to d8, and now king to h1, bringing the king 
of course on a more uh, more solid score we have now the move a4 kaisa continues now with this two versus one pawn majority on the queen side that's the only side i think in which black can make anything here stockfish continues now with b takes a4 we have now the move b3 good move by kaisa and now the real fun starts so so far it seemed to me that kaisa had everything under control stockfish continues now of course with rook to b2 but now kaisa made i think the first first mistake in the game kaisa played now the move rook to b8 and this move is not good because it actually you're vulnerable to the attack by the bishop on f4 a better choice was to play something like queen to a4 this would have been the only only defensive chance here for for black you're trying maybe something like rook to g1 then you play queen to b4 and then there is this tactic this tactic will be present now for the next couple of moves this tactic should be always always considered in white uh, in white's attack look at this this is really really crazy for instance after king to h6 we play g5 uh, f takes g5 knight to g5 you can even take bishop to g5 as i said this is now the only only defensive chance for kaisa you even allow queen to g5 you get your king on h7 but actually uh the problem for white in this attack is that the pawn is standing in the way in a potential attack you're trying maybe to get your rook on the h file but your own pawn is blocking out your own attack so that's why here knight to f4 can be played maybe trying some dangerous checks but actually with queen to f8 i think kaisa wouldn't have a uh, good defensive chances then something like knight to e6 would probably be uh, next move by white then you play queen to uh, e7 rook to b3 and i think uh, this should be at least defendable uh here for for black that's i think um not a clear position but the stockfish engine at home my stockfish engine at home suggests simply that black should go into this line not uh to play the move rook to b8 that kaisa played but now stockfish will punish this idea stockfish first of all plays the move bishop to f4 hits now the rook forces now the reaction by the rook and now stockfish noticed that both of these rooks are on the seventh rank when the rooks are on seventh rank then of course you have a problem on the eighth rank and stockfish notice now this problem with the beautiful beautiful stunning tactic maybe just for fun you can pause the video and try to see now the best continuation here for white it's so tough to see it's so brutal so epic but maybe if you like to calculate uh some great middle game uh tactics pause the video as i said and try to see now i'm not saying the winning solution but it's your main main progressive plan for white okay here stockfish plays now this move bishop to h6 anyway here after king to h6 okay queen to d2 gets the piece back but now the problem comes with bishop to a5 the rook is lined up here uh, also on the dark square so it seems so that white is losing the game but stack stockfish is of course the best calculator in the world stockfish says you have still this back rank problems uh here on the eighth rank look at this if you try bishop to a1 let's see this tactic queen to a8 is immediately immediately checkmate so that's why after queen to c8 knight to f8 now by kaisa trying somehow uh to defend this position stockfish rook is still under fire but stockfish continues now with an amazing g5 really 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 wild stuff so what should black do let's see again the option if you play bishop to e1 if you pick up now finally the rook maybe you think okay now my knight is in the defense maybe now uh, i can defend this position but stockfish would then probably continue with knight to f8 this wasn't played in the game but it's now i think the critical moment of this amazing chess game now let's see what's really going on on the board let's see now does black has any defensive solutions here so after knight to f8 we have rook takes f8 as a possibility but now comes an amazing idea g takes f6 that's the issue if you play here king to f6 then the rook is lost if you play here uh rook takes f6 then this other rook is coming into the game really really crazy stuff now you have to play something like i don't know king to h6 the queen is coming you're trying to cover a uh, queen takes f6 you take now we deliver uh checkmate even here with the amazing move knight to f4 so that was our analysis after potential bishop to e1 in this position after move g5 that's now i think the most brilliant move here by stockfish let's see different options you can maybe try here knight takes g6 but then after h takes g6 you're trying maybe i don't know rook to f8 to compete again uh then we play again this idea g takes f6 if you pick up now with the king we saw the rook is lost so that's why after rook to f6 now the knight is coming you're trying maybe i don't know uh to play rook to f um, rook to f4 but then uh you get simply destroyed here 
on on the h file and i think the game could be over you're trying maybe i don't know let's see bishop to e uh bishop to e1 then knight to h5 you're trying to take with a little check the uh, king gets here on h5 rook to h2 you can cover but now look at this with queen to g4 rook to h4 the game is over uh here for uh for black you could maybe try as i said here even to play the rook to f8 instead of i don't know um at taking out uh, the rook on e1 but then with knight to e6 you're getting destroyed queen to e6 you don't pick up the queen here i think because then the rook could be taken you play here this one queen to uh, b7 black has to cover but now you trade it off you pick up the pawn here on b3 and white should be again completely completely winning here let's see different options we have seen now knight to g6 as an option also bishop to e1 uh, also what you could play instead of both of these moves you can play rook to a7 keeping your rook on the seventh rank <coughs> but then here queen to e8 it would be probably uh, white's continuation you're trying now maybe bishop to e1 but now again this motif that we have seen previously knight to f8 you can even deliver check here doesn't matter stockfish had everything under control but then you play simply king to h2 uh, again this idea of rook to f8 you play now h6 look at this the pawns are marching we deliver check new check g6 and with this two very very unpleasant pawns i think again black is simply getting destroyed so I really search for any opportunities here even if you don't try this check on f1 we have seen previously with rook to f8 again this idea uh, g takes uh, f6 and we saw after rook to f6 you get rook to g2 if you play uh, here of course king to f6 then the rook is taken so great great tactics here by stockfish so that's why after move g5 we saw nothing is working here here Kaisa tried also a quite natural idea queen to c4 tries of course somehow to trade off the queens but stockfish continues now with uh, queen to e8 again i'm pointing out bishop to e1 we saw is not working because of this idea knight to f8 uh, g takes f6 that we saw is not a good continuation also for black after queen to e8 uh, queen to c3 but now rook to f1 uh, here stockfish is saying okay you can maybe take out this rook on b2 but again one of these rooks is attacking the king stockfish continues now with knight to f8 we have seen again the same tactic rook to f8 g takes f6 uh, if you play of course here rook to f6 then we saw rook to g1 is simply winning the game so that's why for g takes f6 king to f6 queen takes f8 and now after rook to f7 stockfish brings now the queen into the game we have king to e7 knight to f4 the knight is coming in the most epic way into the game look at this this is a weakness we have now rook to uh, king to d8 and after queen to e6 believe me or not in this particular position kaisa resigned you could maybe try here something like rook to d7 but now this rook would come into the game you're trying maybe queen to d4 look at this the rook is coming uh queen to uh, a6 you're trying maybe to deliver some checks you can pick up here also the knight on f4 but actually actually rook to c8 it would be an amazing and stunning checkmate here so after uh, as i said after move queen to e6 in this position uh, kaisa simply resign if in uh, if you pick up here the piece then of course you get uh, queen to d6 and the rook is lost so game over again here for black Pooh, really really amazing game i would say so so stretched uh tactical sequence i think um the bad game for black started after the after this move rook to b8 where it uh, the rook got a little bit exposed and uh stockfish noticed the problems on the eighth rank simply played now bishop to h6 really stunning move as i said let's see again the queen is coming and it was basically game over here for black Pooh, what to say amazing amazing stuff in the slav defense uh, i've really enjoyed these games because they're really cool they're really with new opportunities but i don't think how many of us would even consider this kind of a tactic i don't know mikhail tal would probably consider something like this uh i'm, I'm really sad that mikhail tal never had the opportunity to use the stockfish engine because he would be probably even more more tactical but uh, uh it, these games are always reminding me of mikhail tal games because he played at least similar to the stockfish engine with always stretched all over the board tactical sequences so in my opinion very really, really spectacular game also played by stockfish point one uh, stockfish 16.1 so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot the interesting ideas of the slav defense if you want to see some other epic sharp tactical games like this check out our comment to chess games play by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content hit the subscribe button See you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end? Chess is the best, of course.